I guess what's been your experience on a on an on your lead probabilities? Like, what's your show ratio? And then, what are ways that you could help increase the show ratio? Whether you're knocking, whether you're, you know, doing an online program, like what what would you recommend to kind of increase the show ratio? So there's the everyone talks about follow up, right? And how important it is, and how to automate it, and the whole thing. And really, what they forget is they position that follow-up after they couldn't sell the person. So after the appointment already happened, there's this crucial time from when you set the appointment to when it happens. I call it the pre-appointment follow-up, which is like your opportunity to truly get in front of that person. And, you know, you have to do the whole, I just used to send people a picture of me, like holding my kids, like a three sentence biography of why I do this um, an agenda, very important to have that agenda, a list of references with phone numbers, and then maybe like a link to my Google reviews or something like that. So they would get that in a text message. And, um, you know, of course you have the or automated- four separate text messages. I think sometimes like it could be separate. It doesn't all have to be one long, like here's like freaking read a novel. It might be, here's a picture of me and my kids. Then the next day, here's a picture of our review site. And then the next day, and so they're kind of like, man, like I'm going to be there, dude. Like, you know, it, it might be okay to break that up and it might be okay to just do it all in one. I don't know. I'm just, I'm brainstorming with you, but it's that pre-appointment follow-up. I think. You're, you're exactly right. It's a fantastic idea to split those up. All you're trying to do is put a face like your face to your name because they're just, people have these schemas, right? You know what a schema is? It's like a preset you know, filter of what people think you're about to do to them just because you're a sales guy. And if you can just break down that role before you get there, then if you're not playing the salesperson role, the homeowner is far less likely to play the homeowner who doesn't want to be sold role. So, yeah, so it's more of just yeah, a human yeah. to human relationship at that point. But I mean, in terms of like, so the, so the booked appointments, like, so, so from lead to sit is about 20%. That's usually you know, sometimes like 15, you know, you want to make some optimizations. Then sometimes you get like 25, 30% in any given month, but it fluctuates. Meaning they booked the appointment. They actually sat with you. And they actually sat. So, and it's because, you know, when you door knock, you're taking the initial step, right? So they're, they're not, they're almost in a being sold mode just inherently because of the way the conversation started right online. If yeah, they're taking yeah. that first step, they're, they're in the buying mode. So as long as you have that pre-appointment follow-up, most of the appointments that you book should sit. We see about 75% show-up rate to the appointments that book. Cool. Yeah. 